Uh, welcome to a new video and a new update for the Xiaomi 14 Ultra and the Xiaomi 14. And I'm recording it with the Xiaomi 14 using my external wireless microphone in the hopes that they fixed maybe finally the audio issues here. But let's check out the changes on the Xiaomi 14 Ultra because we have a lot more changes also regarding the camera software here on the 14 Ultra. So let's get started. As you maybe heard, the Xiaomi 14 still has the wireless mic issue there. I'm not sure when Xiaomi is fixing it. Maybe the end of the year. Uh, then it will be open for more than a year anyway. Uh, let's take a look at the 1015 on the Chinese version, version of the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. This is what I forgot to say, but I have the Chinese version of the Xiaomi 14 and 14 Ultra. This is why I get the updates so quickly. So we have system optimizations, improved app preloading to enhanced app startup and uh, some other system um, options there, control center options, some fixes there as well for the nodes application, some new widgets here that are mainly like focused more on the Chinese market, like the travel assistant, some lock screen optimizations there for the press and hold logic, and some calculator optimizations. But what is more interesting, I think, is here the camera optimizations. So we have a new 120 millimeter focal length in portrait mode and some other options there as well, like the new zoom options that we can choose by tapping just the zoom buttons, which is quite nice, as well as setting up default zoom levels for the One X. Uh, for, to, from 23 to 28 to 35 if we want to and let's check this out just by swiping up here going out going into the camera application and let's take a photo of Timmy a portrait actually someone said you cannot do portraits on animals you can 120 millimeter is the new option there I can tap on it as you can see it is using the 120 millimeter option there I can take a snap maybe can get even closer so I get a nicer bokeh effect you can see he's like eating a bit of grass huh, Timmy not on me because I'm like tricked him to go out anyway so this is the new option that we have here then let's go back to the normal photo mode. What we have here, when I tap the 1x button, you can see it's going to 28 and then to 35 millimeters. This for 2x or 3x, but I have this for 5x. If I want to go to 10x, I just press again and I'm at 10x. If I press again, I will be at 30x, as you can see here, which is like quite impressive. And I can go back to the 5x. So these are the new options that we have here. And of course, we have also the option to set up the new default millimeters for the One X. So we go into our settings there and then we can choose here distance from 23 to, for example, 35, which I really, really like. And then you can see that already the new focal length, the default one is 1.5 instead of 1x. As you can see, if I press on it, it will be 1x, but yeah, it's by default 1.5x, which is quite nice. Uh, maybe there's a bit of a logic issue still, because it should be the default. So if I go to 3.2, I want to go back, not to 1x. So this is something that is still, I think, something that they have to fix there with the software but this is one major upgrade already for the camera system i think that makes it a bit easier let's check out some other updates that we have here uh, we have the gallery optimized for video synchronization strategy yes i think that had had some issues there as well in the past and some other gallery options that they fixed there as well as file manager optimizations. Finally, we got a speedier file manager. It was always a bit slow, especially when you created new uh, folders on an external drive. It took a long time. And we have some fixes for the status bar notification shade, especially for the status uh, for, for the notifications, like some notifications were shown empty only with the icon and so on. This has been fixed there as well. So in general, I think a great update of the software here and last but not least i'm filming with the main camera of the xiaomi 14 ultra so the 14 ultra has 
I think the biggest, the largest update. But nevertheless, the uh, Xiaomi 14 also got some new features. And I want to show you the quick rundown of the changelog here as well. Otherwise, this video would be very, very short. But as they updated all devices throughout the Xiaomi 14 series, besides, I think, the Lite series, so the 14, 14 Pro and 14 Ultra, I just want to show you what's happening here on the Xiaomi 14 as well. So let's dig in. Here we can see the changelog of the Xiaomi 14 and uh, this is version 1042. As I said before, it's the Chinese version, so don't bother if you have the global version. You probably have to wait until this update comes. As you can see, it looks pretty similar to the 14 Ultra, which is quite nice. So they optimized a lot of there. But in terms of camera, we have a lot less there. Optimization, high definition images in portrait mode and optimization image quality for front camera so these are the only changes here and of course all the gallery changes and file manager optimizations we see there as well as all the little fixes that they did so what i want to try out is maybe like a selfie and the high definition image uh, in portrait maybe from timmy again and then we'll see how good the images will look like so let's go and uh, check out the camera and let's go into portrait mode and as you see still have the old user interface here old in this case doesn't have the millimeter count you just can choose here between those swirly bokeh and i think portrait here and i can snap a portrait of timmy and that's basically it hopefully this is what they meant and then i can also do maybe a screen uh, a shot of myself here with front facing camera and they claim to improve this as well, so let's check this out. Yes, this looks nice. Portrait effect looks nice. HD preview looks nice, but it's a little bit soft, as you see already here on the screen. I think the poker balls are very nice. Nicely done, nicely edited there. And uh, yeah, sharpness is a bit of lacking. The detail level is a bit of lacking, but nevertheless, it's like it's a good photo. And here, yes, also I think the same issue that we had before. Maybe I have to go into the Leica Master Portrait. And let's take a look at here now. Master Portrait. Yes, the Master Portrait is a bit sharper there, I think, than the Leica mode there. I think the cutout is also working nicely. Yeah, maybe here a little bit like of an issue there. But nevertheless, what do you think about those changes here? on the Xiaomi 14 series.